Cheers, I've got my tea. Welcome to my booktube channel about books and reading and stuff. In this video I want to give you a mid-month catch-up of what's happening, what I'm doing, how my reading is going. These are the two books I'm currently reading, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy and Noir by K.W. Chita. I started both of these at the beginning of January. I'm also reading Fresh Water on my Kindle. The Invisible Cities project this month includes Columbia and I've been reading some Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is his collection Strange Pilgrims from which I've read four stories. I read Bon Voyage, Mr. President which is about an aging dictator in Switzerland who is met by one of his compatriots and they have a talk. It's interesting. Sleeping Beauty in the Aeroplane. This is the author, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. He's on an aeroplane and a beautiful woman sits by him, but she takes a sleeping pill and falls asleep, tells him not to let anybody disturb her. Then I only came to use the phone. This is interesting. This is about a woman who hires a car in Spain. The car breaks down and the nearest building it happens to be a lunatic asylum. And she arrives there just as they're taking in some new inmates, some new patients, and they confuse her as one of the patients. And she's saying, yeah, I only came to use the phone and they thought, yes, yes, yes. Those were all quite realistic stories. The only magic realism was in the fourth story I read, which was Light is Like Water. And there are two children, two boys who have done well in their grades, persuade their father to get them a boat. But they live on the fifth floor of an apartment block in Madrid. And so they take the boat up there. There's no water. But when the parents are out, they break a light bulb and the light floods the room and they're rowing their boat in the flood of light. It's very surreal, but very imaginative. I also read a children's book, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. I'd heard the title a long time, but I missed reading it in my childhood. And it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting with a, word, a name like Charlotte's Web, there'd be something more gothic. Uh, maybe because I'm thinking of the Cure song, Charlotte Sometimes. This is a story set in rural America about a pig and a spider. The pig is the runt of a litter and when it's born it's going to be killed but the girl Fern, who is eight years old, saves it from being killed but then it's put into the barn with the other farm animals who think that the pig is just being saved up for Christmas. But the spider Charlotte decides she's going to try and save the pig with her weaving skills. It's a sweet story, but not what I was expecting. I've also got a jar now for my TBR. This will be for March when I pick out one or two of these titles from my physical TBR that I want to read through. So that's it for my mid month roundup. Now I'll get back to reading Anna Karenina. I've finished the first two parts and now I want to start the third part. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.